Are you ready to enter the world of Henry Rath's reactions? How are you doing today, Rath Mites? My name is Henry Rath, and this is Henry Rath's reactions. Today I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a music reaction video, and that music reaction is going to be of Mises' Hollywood. Now, this was a request from our very own Daniel Armstrong. Thank you so for commenting down below and for requesting this song. So, without further ado, good. we're going to go ahead and hop on in and see what it does and see what it has to offer. Alright, let's hop on in. Okay, let's read this real quick. Let's see. Please pause the video before watching the video. Thank you in advance. I could have been Lil Nas X and you could have too. No, that ain't the problem. He's a product. The problem is Hollywood. Hollywood doesn't care who it destroys, and the devil doesn't introduce himself with a pitchfork in hand. He comes offering whatever it is we desire most, without a praying mother, drugs, and drug dealing would have left me dead or in jail. Or music would have had me on top of the world. Right where the devil wants me. So, who prayed for you? I don't know who's praying for Lil Nas X, but I don't know from this video on. I will, but I do know. Sorry, I'm a little tired. Just got for a 12 hour show. But I do know from this video on, I will be. Light overpowers darkness and love defeats hate. In the same time that it takes to tear someone down, you can lift them up in prayer. So please, before hitting play on this video, if you're truly great, grateful for those who've prayed for you, take a minute of your day and pray for Lil Nas X. Actually pray for all of Hollywood. When you're done, drop an amen in the comments and tag Lil Nas X so he knows how many people are praying for him. I think it's time the saints remind the devil of just how tiny his little playground is compared to the kingdom of God. Love y'all so much, fam. Yes, including you, Montero. Guys, I haven't spoken on the Lil Nas X situation. And I've, I had a lot, I had a lot of family members who heard you say you're like angry for it, who are mad for it. And I have some who are, how do you say, they feel sorry for him. I have some who feel sorry for him, you know. And... Honestly, the way that I feel about the situation is, is that Lil Nas X wouldn't have done what he did if he didn't feel neglected. He wouldn't have done what he did if he didn't feel neglected. And what it is that I promise you, I, I, I promise you, what most likely happened is that at some point of his life, he was, how do you say, on the path toward God. And then the devil came in, made, made him, you know, think he was gay. With that realization that the devil put in his mind, he was concerned by it. He went to people for help. And they completely said, oh, you're going to go to hell. Oh. Oh, you, you, you just let the devil use you. You just let the devil use you. You're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell. And they didn't help him. They didn't pray for him. They just criticized and criticized and criticized. And I think due to that very issue, he ended up going down the path that he's gone and coming up with that song that he did come up with. Now, me personally, I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it at all. I mean, like, why do I need to watch it? <laughs> why do I need to watch it? You can automatically tell from the way that the, you know, thing shows or uh, the thumbnail for it, it's going to be controversial. It's going to be controversial. He's doing it for a reaction. He's doing it for a reaction. Don't let him, and, and don't, don't succumb to him basically trying to draw you in and make you react in a bad way. 
Don't react in a bad way. React, react in the Christian way. Pray for them. Let them know you. Let them know you're praying for them. Let them know that you know. You know he's in a dark place. God has him. Even though he's doing all this wrong, he loved him. Love thy neighbor. Even though he's doing all this, it's for attention. It's for attention. He wants a negative review. Don't give the devil the pleasure of drawing him away further rather than pulling him in and letting him feel the love of God. So that there is my, how do you say, my philosophy or my thought process of the entire thing. So let's go ahead and hop in and see what this has to offer. All right, let's hop on in. I could definitely jam to that. That's one thing that's definitely true. That's one thing that's definitely true. Hollywood definitely, definitely changes people. It definitely changes people. It changes people for the worst. That's why, you know, when it, if you ever are able to make it to Hollywood, you have to be that rare bunch that doesn't let it control you, that doesn't let it manipulate you, that doesn't let it, let, you know, that doesn't let it, how do you say, change your character. Because a lot of people in Hollywood have been, have become corrupt and have become misguided and have become, how do you say, shadowed into the much so evil world that it is. And you can't let it, you can't let it control you. You can't let it control you. You have to be that light in the darkness. You have to be. Let's see. Hop back in. He don't need no he don't need no stage, no camera, lights, action, none of that. He'll stay true to himself and guess what? He rise to the top that way, shucks. Ain't no no one controlling. No one controlling me. Ain't no one. Nobody. I do what I want. Independent. Say you Tell them how you feel, bro. Tell them how you feel, bro. Fuck Hollywood with both fingers up I probably should but I don't give no fucks And I probably won't so don't hold your breath Y'all folks all possessed My bank rolls and checks Fuck Hollywood They say shoot for the stars But they shootin' stars Who talk truth in they bars They cry till they I like the, how do you say, like the chorus of it, the beat, the melody, it's all mixing together with the lyrics and it's wonderful. The cinematography is on point as well. The cinematography is on point. I am definitely enjoying this. Fuck So sincere, all the sin I see here. You say that's Hollywood, I say that's 
tell her where So fuck all it was You ain't scripting my life yeah, that's true, that's true. On some occasions, it seems like living in Hollywood is literally like a script. You have to follow a certain guideline. You have to follow a certain, how do you say, a certain path. You have to act a certain way to be in Hollywood. And, you know, people who are, you know, coming up in the industry, you know, whether it's the music industry, the movie industry, they literally have to, if they want to get to the top fast, on some occasions they do have to sadly sell their souls, which is the worst thing you can do. Now, if you go up in the system and you stay true to yourself, you stay true to your, how do you say, your path, stay true to your, what's the word for it, what's the word for it, what's the word for it? Stay true to your philosophy. You'll make it to the top. It may take you out because you may have people holding you back. But in the end, oh shucks. You'll go way behind them in even greater ways. In even greater ways. So let's hop back in and see what else he has to say. I, I was raised by the hood. That means I won't think twice. Keep some rollies with eyes. Yeah, that show biz look nice. Yeah, that show you the prize. Cause your soul and your life. Fuck Hollywood, San Fernando possessed But I'm good walking through the valley of the shadow up there Keep that good book real close Cause this place filled with ghosts And I don't mean writers think I'm lying if you want So fuck Hollywood and fuck it for good Whole place full of crooked ass snakes with good looks so Yeah, that's true, that's true You talking true facts right here guys He's talking true facts Y'all be listening to these lyrics. He's talking true facts right here. Take one last look at that Hollywood sign. And bid it farewell. Yeah, I'll be just fine. Fuck Hollywood. Fuck Hollywood. Say sad your souls. I probably should. Like being all bad. Maybe like me all good. It's like all these actors in Hollywood. So fuck Hollywood. I'm polishing. Not at all. Not at all. Shuck. I'm telling y'all. Hollywood would definitely change some people. Hollywood would definitely change some people. There'll be some people who went into, you know, Hollywood. They've gone in a certain way. And then, how do you say, like, a month later, a week later, shucks. They are literally changed. They are changed in crazy ways. Either they're changed in ways where they, they do things that they would never normally do, or they're changed in some ways to where they start, you know, blocking our friends, blocking our family. And shucks, they just go down a different path than God has ordained for them. So Hollywood is definitely a dangerous place if you don't have your mind set, your head screwed on straight. And that's facts. True, pray for the wait, pray or fall. Pray. Dang, I thought they said pray for the fall. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got to where I shipped. I'm so tired, <laughs> guys. That there was Mises's Hollywood, <laughs> guys. If you enjoyed my reaction, make sure to have you stay like this video to get those views up. Make sure to comment down below what's your favorite Mises song. Also, don't forget to share, 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 share this video so we can build up this rap family. And as well, with that, don't forget to either say, click that notification bell to, make, to be made aware for whenever I'm going to be making videos. So we make videos, if not every week, then every month or every couple of days. A month lasts a little too long. But I love you guys. Don't forget to love the scene. And without further ado, Rath out!